There we go. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Illusion Fox Gaming. Today we are doing the level 30 rogue quest on Final Fantasy XIV. Market for death. Jack's rogues have a new information on the final missing treasure. I was wondering when you'd show up, but bugger me if you don't look ready to mill an entire crew of sods by yourself. And Bene, that you are, because we finally uncovered some hard facts about the la that last treasure. Won't be long now before we cloy the wind in peace and put this daft challenge to bed. Alright, I've gathered the, the other coves for me, so let's get down to it. At long bloody last, the black sarcophagus has given up its secrets underfoot. We've, you have some news for us? Aye, right, Jack, I think half our troubles in Wendland, the truth of it lay in calling this nasty thing a treasure. The black sarcophagus ain't no dimmer bo bobble, it's the Mark a 51 Magitek mine, a bleeding prototype explosive, explosive what was bitten from an Imperial transport vessel. And even though it ain't that big, maybe the size of a small cargo box, they say the blast would have enough kick to incinerate a bloody behemoth. Seems the Garleans meant to start production at their factory in Lanasia, then distribute the mines through Castro Marinum. Lucky some plucky privateer cloyed the prototype en route then, eh? An experimental weapon? That explains why the Thelosocracy was so bleeding eager to bid at that auction, and so reluctant to share the details with us. At least now we know the what, but there's still the question of the where. The Kurds delivered their bitten goods to the reformists, that much is certain. What happened to the sarcophagus after that, though? We ain't so sure. There have been no reports of huge explosions or the like, so either the executioners still have the mine, or they fell to it to some other buyer. The reformers faction ca came together out of their shared hatred for the admiral and her ways. I'm guessing they didn't cloy the bo that bomb just to sell it. What is it, Lonnie? A letter for you, Jack. It says it's urgent. A letter? Who's it from? The old man. I found it while I was sorting through our daily deliveries. Let's see now. Come to Thalassos. Salios, I have urgent news. I've never known the old man to summon a customer. No one's seen him at his u usual haunts for a while. So do you reckon this this is some rum morsel he's dug up just for us? Aye, it could be. You and me are headed to Thalios. Underfoot, Vakebe, you're to take another stab at penning down the location of the sarcophagus. Okay, where are we going for this? Bronze Lake, okay. I was like, wait a minute, why is there not a... Not an Aetherite nearby. Yeah, that's right. Upper Lanasia has this weird split into two little areas by a huge lake, which is full of uh, oh, can't remember the names now. They're very stabby. Oh. 
Well, at least they're pretty much all one hits. You're wasting your time, Dylan. We opened that Scrag's wrinkled throat bells ago. You cross the bloody executioners and you get what's coming to you. Did you like our message? We wasn't sure you'd fall for it, but a little mystery goes a long way, eh? I now don't be like that, darling. Me and my mates didn't have much choice. When the boss says go play with the rogues, we well, gotta go play with the rogues. After all, we never asked you to come ruin our game, no, did we? And don't give me no long-winded speech about your precious code. The reformist vision stretches far beyond what them tired old rules is good for. Once Captain Isabir takes command of the executioners, we'll give us back the teeth we lost when we submitted to the Admiral's leash. We'll be the terrors of sea once more, free to rove and plunder in a new age of pirate glory. And I'll bathe in blood to see that age come to pass. I'll kick down your shite singing code and have all your sneaky heads on the chopping block. Like hells you will. The only sentence that's been passed today is yours. Well, hello there, darling. Ain't you a fine-looking lad? I've heard all this prattle before. Free to pillage and plunder, is it? Ah, oh, it all sounds grand. But you don't think of the price. That shite sing code is the only thing that keeps you bloody codes from milling one another. Without it, without limbs of laments to call home, you'd be adrift in an ocean of corns. But if you're so keen to keep company with the dead, I'd be sodden happy to oblige. You was pretty with your gob shut, but I can see I'm out of my depth here. As much as I'd like to lop off your noggins, I'll have to be satisfied with dragging the two of you out into the wilds. Kept you well out of the way, haven't I? Out with it, then. Ain't it obvious? You summoned Scraggs looking to swipe our new toy, and my job was to stall ye. The captain in the mine would have been with him right now. He's set to show the rest of the executors that he's got the stones to sit in the leader's chair. And what better way to do it than do that than executing the bitch would snap the chains on our crew. He's starting the Admiral himself. You're planning to blow up the command room, ain't ya? I, you have me rich to panic, of course, if you'd rather steer clear of the city. I'd be glad to keep you company right here, sweet meat. Ooh. That, that's not a good thing at all. We've got this mad Morn at our mercy, but she seems to be enjoying herself. I'd better drag her back into the guild and see what other information she'll spill. I need you back in Limsa as well, but we've business at the foremast first. You should find Captain Malala at your, her post there. Forget about the sun challenge and tell her everything we know. Unless we judgments well off kilter, she'll do what needs to be done. She's just like, good luck. She's not afraid of anything we do or say. Oh, that's an interesting detail I didn't seem to notice before. So you'd think with how far apart those are, that there'd be a bridge that goes between those two. I mean, it makes sense. You've got a bridge that goes clear across to at least that point. So, I mean, it's not a technologi technology thing. Oh, you're one of Jack's rogues. You've come to s steal the sorrows, have you? Well, you shan't have them. As you can see, they're safely classed upon my very own... You're not here for the earrings? The animals, you say? And you are sure those, these fiends are in possession of the sarcophagus? I must deploy more sentries at once. Do not think this voids our challenge, rogue. You will relay as much to your impudent guildmaster. I suppose you can thank him for the warning as well.
here I thought this would be the last quest but apparently it's not we're only just getting started here it looks like I do not have enough time to do all the things that need to be done So the pirate jacks are on the move. Many haven't listened to that addled pirate cackle since I got back her back to the sisters. But she's given us not what we didn't already know. And we know more than enough. I say we rally the rogues and go after that mine before it blows up our arm our muns. And so that was market for death. Uh, the, uh, one of the level 30 uh, rogue quests. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little video, and hopefully we'll see you again either for more videos here on YouTube or maybe one of our many streams at the same channel name over on Twitch. Till then, though, have a wonderful rest of your evening.